Hello everyone, how are you? I'm excited because we're going in DJ Mac. They finally opened in Washington State and especially in the county that I usually go to. But I do have a list that I am gonna try to follow. Makeup remover, also I need a few brushes, cushion foundation if I can find anything like that I'm gonna try to grab something like that eyeshadow palette that I have never from a brand that I never used before really pretty bad and also skirt a long skirt I think we do have a budget as well $130 hopefully I don't go about that Don't, 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 stop. All right, so here's the bag. I got a lot of things. And let me start from the beginning and saying that I, of course, exceed the amount of money that 
I uh, established for the strip to teach an act. There were not that many products on the shelf left, but um, I was still able to find some really good items. You really had to look through everything to be able to find something really nice in there. Uh, we were only allowed like 100 people in the store at the same time. So I was able to get footage. It wasn't too crowded or anything like that, but it was like there was not much to take footage of. So I want to start with this bag. Look at that. Look at Look how pretty this bag is. I am so happy the fact that I found this in there. This because this is from Dune London and I paid for it $26. I have two pairs of pants that I, I really wanted to grab them for my uh, work. I'm gonna show them really quick. We're not gonna spend too much time on these. They're just two pair of pants, like um I guess fancy looking pants, you know uh office looking Stop. pants i guess and uh, these are in navy and i got Stop. them for 19.99 and they are from rachel so this are these ones black hair i really like this one i think this one is so amazing and these ones are like uh Smooth Ultra Soft Maximum Strength and Recovery Fabric that moves to your shape and it's from Counterparts and I paid $14.99 on them. Got myself another hat. Look how cute this is. I love the bow in the back and I love the fact that it has this black on here. It looks so nice on me. I think you already seen footage with me trying it on. but. This is how it looks like. So, so pretty. I love it and it's gonna be really good for summertime. This is from uh, Sun and Sand Headwear and I only paid $12 for it. Next thing in here, I got a pair of earrings. These earrings are so fun. Look at that, aren't these so fun? I love it. I cannot wear to wear these. These are just $10. And they're from Pink Linen. It's a Beauty Razor 5 Package Dermal Planning. And this is $7.99. Next thing in here, I got a Petty Scrub in a Sponge Coconut Colada 4-in-1, which is cleansing, exfoliates, and moisturizes, and massages. Look at this thing. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? It contains coconut oil and shea butter known for their nourishing and soothing properties benefit cleanses exfoliates massage and moisturize may help reduce col uh, colossus with continuous use and uh, smells so 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 good i am excited to try this on i definitely need something like this because i do work eight hours you know in a store where i don't get to sit down too uh, too much so um, I'm usually having really tired feet and just to have like that moment at night or in the morning to like get through, through it and actually clean them and have them a little bit of massage and have a little thing for that part of your body. It's just going to be so amazing for my feet. I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to take a shower and actually use this. So excited. So next thing in here, I got something really weird. I am, <laughs> I'm, we're not gonna try it in today. I think I'm just gonna make a whole video dedicated to this thing. So this is a Kenzie Micro Needle Lip Plumber and Exfoliating Lip Brush. $6.99 on this. This is how it looks inside. And it's gonna be very interesting to see if this is gonna plump your lips or not. Now we're going into the things that we actually gonna use for my skin. So I really needed a moisturizer. I bought a few things here and there that I've used as moisturizer. I have my favorite, favorite one from Bliss, but it's just I ran out of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try something else and see if I still like that one more. But I heard so many good things about um, 
first day beauty i heard so many good things from everybody people on youtube but also people uh, that i work with and that i know friends and i never tried them any like i haven't tried anything from them so i saw this in there and i was like mm, let me grab that let me try it uh, let me see how it works let's see how it's gonna be like and i paid 14 dollars and 99 cents and this is ultra repair barrier air cream strength and balance hydrate and um it says it's safe for sensitive skin so uh, that's amazing this is how it looks like inside it doesn't have a scent to it by the way this one has 44 millimeters in it Ooh, it's really good. Whoa, I like the feeling of it. It's very soothing. If you last, if you watch my last TJ Maxx video, you you would have seen or you already seen it, <laughs> uh, that I got this Becca foundation i got one of the becca foundation last time when i got there and i was so excited i have i found this foundation over there and i only paid eight dollar at the time this time this one is seven dollars and i found it again and i found it in in my uh i think uh, I think <laughs> but this is my estimated uh, shade uh, that um, I think is gonna be really good for me and this is in fawn so I was right this is definitely this the shade that will work the best with my skin tone and this is how it looks on my skin I love this foundation there's no need to talk a lot about this foundation because I know I absolutely adore this foundation so because I don't have anything else in there that is gonna take care of my complexion um, items I'm gonna go and finish up my face off camera and then come back and show you the rest Stop. of it all right so I set my face and everything did my eyebrows and now we're ready to go to the next product which is Pixie by Petra and this is Hello LA Angel Hello Beautiful and I paid six dollars and ninety nine cents this is compared to nine dollars it says this palette is so easy to use it's a gorgeous like an LA Angel natural beachy and confident absolutely love the colors in here and we're gonna use this one from here i really like it it looks really nice on me all right so we have only two items left in here and i mean three two items left in here and i'm just gonna show them really quick and then we're gonna play with the eyeshadow palette so I got a blink eyebrow mousse if you watch my video you know I really love this thing and I actually have used it a lot on my eyebrows um, and I'm out of it so I was excited to see it in there this one is $6.99 um, I also found the shadow switch over there blush clean cleaner that is four dollars and ninety nine so excited I was able to find this over there I was at Edwards with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH if you don't know who Alyssa Edwards is she is a drag queen gorgeous beautiful amazing drag queen and she was in RuPaul's Drag Race which I am absolutely <laughs> which I love and I watch all the freaking time every season every episode everything and this is how it looks like I am excited so I don't want to I do not want to make you be bored or anything like that so I'm just gonna make sure to push this I'm gonna speed through this and then come back at the end and give you my final thoughts.
don't stop. Alright guys, so this is the eye look that I came up with. <sighs> what is going on? I really thought this is going to be such an amazing eyeshadow palette and it is not. <laughs> um, I was able to save it with the shimmers. Shimmers are really nice actually in this, but the mattes, what is wrong with this? I mean, have you checked the yellow? Like, look at this. You see this? This is like literally almost like look at the. This is the most disappointing eyeshadow um, payoff, color payoff I ever experienced in my goddamn life. It's just, I mean, like, where does it go, man? This is so bad. And then also this one, BBDC. It took forever to blend it on my eye, and it's just so patchy. But I was like, you know what, maybe it's just taking, you know, it's a purple, it's gonna be harder to uh, formulate, so let's just not pay attention to that right now. But when I went into that yellow, oh my god, it just, ugh, chokes me. <laughs> To see it so bad. The Supreme and Ho, they are actually really nice, but those two no. DDC is really nice. Inspire is really nice. These are the shimmers. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna swatch all of them because I really want to see how they how they swatch. You know what I mean? So let's go with headliner. Like, look at that. Look how bad that looks, even on my finger. Like, just, ugh. Look. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. And then, let's go with Unicorn Cry. Okay, so Unicorn Cry, it seems to look a little bit better with my finger though because I don't know how it's looking with actual uh, an actual brush but yeah it's just mm. Texas made let's see no this one is gonna be patchy this one is gonna be patchy too yeah not good dream it I use it a little bit as an eyeliner actually this one, yeah, this one is gonna be patchy too. Look over there. <sighs> what is going on, man? No. No. What happened there? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know what happened there. The only usable ones are those two mats over here. I would say these two, the browns, right? The Superman hoe. And then Inspire, DDC, Beyond, and then even the black looks like it's not gonna look too great. Even the black looks bad. Uh, oh goodness. And then uh, Unicorn Tribe, I would say that one looks the best, but everything else? Really? Why? 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 I don't get it. I 
Okay. I don't know what happened there. I'm not happy with this purchase. Definitely not happy with this purchase. Um, I'm definitely gonna go and just watch some other people's reviews and see how they reacted to this. Cause I, I'll be honest, I never watch a review about it because I was like, I, it's gonna be good. I know how uh, their formula is, and I know I like their uh, other eyeshadow palette that I have from ABH. So it's like definitely this is gonna be a hit as well. It's gonna be so good, and also the brush the bristles are so hard that they poke you in the eyes that's why i had to change it because it was like really poking my eyes so i had to change the brush too i don't like the brush either i am very disappointed with this purchase um so yeah uh, I don't know what happened there. Stop. Let me know that below if you tried it and you know how their formula was. Was something a change there? Something happened? I have no idea, but I don't like it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you really enjoyed this little thing. Get ready with me. Also, go into TJ Maxx type of thing. And I will see you all next time with another video. Goodbye.